Hi loves, Jacinta here again, bringing you another mum life video. If you like what you see here, please don't forget to subscribe below, click like, write a comment so I know what you're interested in, and let's get to it. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Jacinta, I have a 17 month old named Zion, and I've been married to my childhood sweetheart for eight years. His name is Josiah. I thought I'd bring to you something that has been important to me, and that's clarifying my toddler winter essentials. I live in Brisbane, Australia, and right now we're about to head into winter, which some days really doesn't feel like it. Um, it's kind of like four seasons in one day, starts off freezing, and then middle of the day you could probably go to the beach, and then by the end of the day you're cold again. Didn't turn out the way I wanted to, currently have a little sookie toddler that woke up from a few times like from a nap that wants to linger around with me so he's just gonna linger right here while I do this. Um, a few toddler essentials that I have and this is predominantly for people that live in warmer climates. I'm not gonna try and give you essentials for those that live that it gets below zero. Um, our winters are roughly around you know uh, 10 degrees Celsius. It doesn't get much colder maybe for like two weeks of the year. <laughs> Now the first essential item I have for you, which is non-wearable of course, is the thermos for any food. Now obviously the winter months it gets a bit cooler so you might decide to give your kids something that's a little bit warmer for, for lunch or for dinner. Um, this one in particular is from Tupperware. Somebody gifted it to us actually when we were having Zion and it's been so good. We use it probably every second day and somebody gave me a tip for it as well. So fill it up with hot boiling water, let it stay for a little while, then tip it out and put your hot food in there and it should keep it even warmer for longer. So we love those, I highly recommend those. Something else that I recommend seeing as it's getting cooler and the skin will dry it a little more is just some sort of cream or balm. I am a lover of the classic coconut oil. Cooking oil, organic, I love it. We use it all the time, especially on nappy rash or, or especially on skin that's dried up. And Zion has quite sensitive skin, so that's been perfect, haven't had any issues with that at all. My favorite product probably that anyone has ever recommended to me is the Nose Frida. Now this, my friends, is the best thing you'll ever purchase. It looks like this, and it is a nose sucker. So winter means colds, it means runny noses, and there's nothing worse than trying to use one of those little measly snot suckers that can't get anything out of their noses. So we absolutely love this. Firstly, I'll use a saline spray just to get everything a little more liquefied, and then you pop this up their nose. Oh, I could give you a demonstration, but you'll hate that. <laughs> you just pop this into their nose and you suck on the other end. It is not going to get into your nose in any way. It's quite a long distance, and also there is a little sponge section there that kind of stops anything that wants to go. Highly recommend, keep this with you at all times. We have one in the baby bag and a spare one in the bedroom just in case we ever lose it. A thermometer is a must this winter. You never know when you're gonna need it. This one's just from Vix, so easy to use. Just swipe across their forehead. It tells you if it's in the green zone, which is good, or red if you need further attention. Huge help for us last winter especially was an essential oil. Now this one is doTERRA brand On Guard. I love it. It smells delicious as well. But I do find that it has helped really clear out his room. It has helped us. I put it on uh, his skin with coconut oil as well when he was really quite ill instead of using Vicks or anything like that. Um, it was just been, it's been awesome. Along with my essential oils, I love to use an air humidifier or an essential oil diffuser. This is our one here. We just pop it on low because if we put it on high, it just fogs out the whole room. So we just put it on low and just really let those essential oils get in with this room and it helps combat the heater as well to make sure that the air isn't too stuffy in there as well. Obviously it gets hard to keep them warm at night come winter time. You can't just pop a blanket on them whenever you like because of SIDS and all of the above. So if we do use a blanket, we'll use something that's more crocheted or knitted and has quite big holes in it so that no matter if it falls in his face or anything, 
um, he'll be able to breathe, but he's not really quite a blanket person. He kicks it off anyway. We like to use this little heater just from Kmart. It was really great for us last winter and we've already started using it some autumn nights this year. Um, the only thing I found is that it gets quite warm in a little bedroom, so we just crack the door open a little bit, lets out some of that really hot air, but it just keeps the room beautiful and warm for him. That way I can get away with giving him just a normal onesie and he doesn't overheat, but he's not cold either, so we love that. Now getting on to some wearable objects. So some of our favorite winter goodies, of course, start with their feet. It is cold, you need something that's going to keep their feet nice and warm, and especially if it gets any rain where you live as well, where we live it gets quite wet. So anything that is nice and solid and strong. These are our favorites. I don't, I'm not saying you must get these shoes. We love these, we bought these for Zion for his birthday slash Christmas together, because they're quite dear. But we love them and they're comfy, they're good for the soul. There he goes, off again. <laughs> they're comfy, they're good for his soles, and they are waterproof, which is my favorite part. If you don't want sneakers or runners at all times, I just found these bad boys on eBay. They're the cutest little boots. I just love them. They just have these little zips here as well. So I love them, easy to put on, and they really smarten up an outfit or uh, make him look even cooler, if that's even possible. Hey, they're so cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we love boots. I, we just love shoes. Obviously, my husband is a big shoes person, so it was going to transfer to his son as well. So those ones from eBay, they were under ten dollars. Super cheap. Highly recommend. We are huge Bonds people in this house. I just love them. I think they make some of the greatest kids' equipment, kids' clothing ever. Socks. Socks are a great starter for winter as well. We love long socks because they always stay on, and we love Bond's ankle socks because they stay on as well. We find they're one of the best socks that he has that really stay on really well. Isn't it so cute? I love beanies. Beanies are so cute. I think beanies are the cutest, but a beanie is such a great option for winter. It's not 100% essential. Depends how cold it is where you live, but it just makes everything even cuter. And I have a model right here to show you. Say hi, guys. Hello! <laughs> I just love beanies, they make it. That's so cute, so cute. Okay, thank you. <laughs> We're gonna keep that on for a little while. Your toddler really needs a great pair of jeans. Now, these are my favorites for Zion because of their little cuff ankle as well. I just love them. These are industry indie kids. He has worn these multiple times a week throughout autumn and winter. Um, they're just really, really fantastic quality, but you need one really good pair of jeans at least. I recommend two, if not more, but essentially just one really, really good pair of jeans. Sorry, my little friend's just in front of me, if anything. Just keep in mind, he's trying on all of his clothes right now. Some essentials I recommend in clothing as well. Uh, long sleeve shirts. Now, this one we just got from Big W. It's just an army cream long sleeve shirt. Long sleeve shirts are great, especially ones that are thin, because in our climate, my key is to layer. Layer as much as possible. I can never put on a jumper on him and keep it on the whole day. Just gets too warm. So we always start with a t-shirt. This is one just from Cotton On Kids. Or a long sleeve shirt depending if it's quite cool as well. And hope for the best. Put something on top if need be. Some sort of leggings or joggers. I love these for at home. They're just from Best and Less. I love them for at home or if we're going somewhere where I know it's like somebody's house. Playtime's going to be around at the park that he needs to move around a lot. Sometimes jeans just don't give way like you need them to. So some sort of at-home pants I love. Along with beanies, I am a sucker for a kid in a track suit. So this one is from just Big W, the separate pieces that they sell there. But a little grey track suit, it's just the cutest thing. I find Zion is so cute in them. I pair them with his Adidas shoes and everybody goes nuts for it. Even makes me a little clucky for another one. <laughs> No matter what age your child is, you always need to have some singlets on hand. Now these are my favorite things come winter time because again, it helps with that layering system. These I love the most when they have a clip at the bottom as well because it means changing is a breeze and Bond's ones in particular are so nice and stretchy that they help all the time. We love them so much, we got them in the t-shirt style and in the long sleeve as well. 
When it comes to pajamas in winter time, you cannot go wrong with a onesie. Again, bonds, but I told you we are a little bit obsessed in this family and they just make such great things um, for, for kids, especially when they're a little bit older and for winter time as well. So these ones we love, this is a little bit of a more fluffy one. They're not the most thick when it comes to PJs, but I do find that Zion overheats quite quickly when it comes to nighttime. So we love this one. As well, we have another one that's kind of a um, little different, different fabric as well. It's a footless one as well. So we love these. Something we've been using nearly every morning and I'm just obsessed because it's the cutest thing is this little robe. Now this one was just from Best and Less. I don't buy expensive things because kids don't really need them. They go through them really quickly, grow out of them really quickly, so I just love a good deal. Um, this one is so cute, I'll show you as well. Look at him, isn't he so cute just wearing his little robe, I just want to eat him. But we love a robe, the robes are awesome. In winter time, some essentials as well is to have a good jumper and a good jacket. Now here are some options. We love our Cotton On Kids long, Tall uh, jumper. Now I love mustard as well. It's just such a cute color, especially for this winter. Something with a hood, so no matter where you are, it goes really well. And I love his little denim jacket that was from Zara. Now this jacket, if it gets really cool again with that whole layering system, I just pair them together. And he's this cute little kid. Just imagine right now with a pair of tights and his little Adidas shoes. Such a cutie, he has better style than me. But, you know, comes from the mums, right? Gotta have a good jumper and a good jacket. So, I showed you his denim jacket. He also has this little bomber jacket. So bomber jackets are great because they're quite fluffy as well. But they're not too hot, so again, helps with the layering or um, some sort of raincoat type jacket. Now, we bought this one because Dad has one to match. So, I got caught into that, you know, marketing scheme. But we love this one as well. Anything that helps with the layering, like I said, or if you want to go the vest option as well, it's always a good essential. This one's just from Cotton On Kids. Thanks for listening. I hope you've enjoyed some of my toddler winter essentials for a warmer climate. Now, you could do this in a cooler climate as well. You just probably have to add a few layers or um, extra things underneath. But I hope you've enjoyed. If you like this video, please click like below. Put a comment of anything that you've liked or let me know. And please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, Bye loves.